Now we are finally getting to the muscle. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make the deltoid muscle, because it's what I always start with, since everything else is kind of built around the deltoids. Before we start though, I recommend you watch part one, the frame of the arm, since you will need to have something to actually put the deltoid muscle around first. All right, let's get into it. Okay, to start with, let's say you have a flat piece of paper, right? And now it really just has two dimensions here. It just has the width and the height, and it lays flat on the mat. But if you were to take it, cut out a little triangle and make those two ends meet, well, now it sticks up from the mat. Now it has depth. And a very clear plane change right here where the paper is bending down. But this is too drastic and sharp for a natural looking shape. So what I recently discovered was that if you cut out a triangle with straight lines on either side, like this, when those two sides meet, it's still going to be rather flat and, well, straight. With a distinct point here where the cut in the paper ends. If you were to make those sides of the triangle curve like this, when those sides meet, they will start off with a rather small change in angle just here and then gradually get bigger and bigger and bigger as you move toward the end, giving a much better curve and creating the roundness we want. Uh, th this is especially useful for the deltoid muscle as they are very round and constantly curve in all directions. Just like you can see with Doomfist here, who has a lot of cuts to get his deltoid muscles to curve the way they do. So looking at my drawing here, I can see that the lateral deltoid really pops, being especially around at the top up here, and then sort of straightening out toward its insertion point at the bottom here. So I'll draw that shape onto a little piece of cardboard like this, and, and I'll trace this onto another piece of card or cardboard, like so, and then I'll flip it over and trace it again on the opposite side, and then I'll have this long strip of paper down the center connecting the two. Then, when I cut it out, this long strip down the, down the middle here will fold around and bring these two sides together, leaving you with, with a shape like this. Now this will sort of be like the main pillar in the center of the shoulder, stopping the paper from, from creasing in. And now this angle in the shoulder's frame here will be filled out with this structure piece. And, and so that'll just be glued on like this. And now you can see that it lines up almost perfectly with my drawing. Now in this case, since I made the pin of the actual shoulder joint as wide as I want the muscle to be, it's not really necessary to do the same thing for the front and rear deltoids. But for Doomfist, who had much bigger shoulders, I did the exact same thing for the side and the front and the back. And once that was done, for Doomfist, I could just take a scrap piece of paper and wrap it around his shoulder and made the necessary cuts to get it to curve and bend the way I wanted. And then I cut open that scrap piece of paper and was left with something like this, where I could now see all the gaps that needed to be folded together to create my shape. And so I traced this scrap piece of paper onto another piece of paper and proceeded to color that piece in for my final copy. And I ended up making 20 cuts in total for Doomfist shoulder so there was a lot of work done here to create that dynamic shape and it, and it was pretty complex all right so actually making the muscle according to my drawing here i can see that unlike doomfist this character has pretty distinct lines separating the three heads of the shoulder muscle so i'm going to split the shoulder into three parts one for each, each of the heads of the deltoid muscle. I just take a scrap piece of paper, draw it the way I think the muscle will look flat, but I have to make it a little bit bigger to account for all the bending and curving the paper is gonna be doing to form the muscle shape. And then I also just guess where I think some big cuts can go to curve the paper I want. And then I just wrap it around my shoulder and see if I think that looks good and see how it fits and then I make adjustments. So for example, right here, I can see that I didn't make it long enough because I want this part to reach all the way here to the structure of the, of the uh, lateral deltoid. So I'm actually just gonna grab a piece of sticky tape, stick that around, and now this piece of sticky tape, when I trace it onto, onto another piece of paper for my final copy, this piece of sticky tape will also be traced, indicating the, the extra length I'll need in that part of the shape. And you can see here, this is kind of flat looking, so I'm just gonna add another cut right here to fold together, giving the much more rounded shape I want. 
and then I just cut open this scrap piece of paper like I said, like I did with the Doomfist one. And then I just trace them again into another piece of paper that will be coloured in the appropriate colours. Until I end up with this, my good copy. The final copy that will be coloured in and go on the actual model. Then I'll just fold that one together and that one will be glued directly to the shoulder frame. Um, but first, before that, since I am making two symmetrical shoulders here, I'm going to take this final copy flip it over and then trace this down onto the piece of paper. So when I make the other shoulder, I don't have to worry about going through that whole process again. And I can just use the exact same template I've already created for his first shoulder. Now actually making the final copy here, you can see I am rounding out the paper a little bit. So then of course it has a round shape. So just take it and bend it. So it looks like a little bit of a round shape. And then you'll find that it d tends to just all the gaps tend to just fold together a little smoother that way. And the idea is, I mean, it's a round human muscle, so you'll want it to be as curved and round as possible with minimal flat areas. And then of course I use thin pieces of sticky tape to close all the little areas together. All the little triangles I've cut out will be closed off so it becomes a round spherical shape. Then of course when everything's folded together, just flip it over, use some glue, and it should fit smoothly around the frame. Okay, so you can see here that this bottom part of the deltoid was actually too round. So what happened was when I tried to press it tight against the frame, this part just kept flattening out like that. And so what I've had to do is I've had to remove the sticky tape. And what I've realized is that these cuts here are too shallow. They need to be going way further up the deltoid. And also another reason for that is, you see, where these cuts end leaves this big flat spot here. So from this angle, it's rather flat there. So keeping this triangle the same width but making it longer here and going much deeper up the, the shape is going to allow me to give it a little bit more curve higher up and hopefully keep it a little bit flatter towards the bottom. I, I don't really know how else to explain it, but this is, a, this is an unforeseen problem. And this kind of thing happens every time I do anything <laughs> with, with paper. Like there's a, there isn't like a strict method where things go right. Things actually always go wrong. And then I just try to fix it as I go. We'll just tape this up and hopefully this should fix our problems. And see, this is what I mean. By the cut being longer, it allows the paper to curve more higher up. Therefore, it can allow it to flatten out a little bit towards the bottom. I just did the same for the lateral deltoid and the anterior, the, the front deltoid. So this is what the lateral deltoid looked like flat. Then when I cut and folded all the little, little gaps together, it was like this and you can see there's a lot of cuts for this one because it was a pretty round shape that had to that had to do a lot of curving in all directions and of course just like the rear deltoid this one was glued to the side of the arm trying to fix it very tightly around that around that structure piece i made earlier and then the anterior deltoid the front one was the same as well it looked like this when it was flat and i just cut all the little triangles out folded them together and glued that one to the front And that is it. That is how I make my deltoids, the, the shoulder muscles for the upper arm. This video might not be the most clear. And if you were hoping for an exact step-by-step -step explanation for how I do it, I can't give that because I don't have a step-by-step -step explanation. As you saw, I am always running into problems. Uh, there's always mistakes that you sort of have to just figure out as you go along. And the only thing that is consistent is my attention to detail and, and the techniques that I use to shape paper, as you saw, just by cutting out little triangles and making those triangles meet and doing that repeatedly. So this is the deltoids. This is the, the best explanation I have of how to make them and I hope you guys got something out of this. Thank you for watching. Post any of your questions below. I'm happy to answer them. I probably missed a few things in the explanation and uh, all right, see you next time.